This video is brought to you by Card Empire. If you're looking for Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, or Magic of the Gathering, this is the place to be. Oh, what's up, people? Dobbs Rules is right here, and welcome back to another Pokemon pack opening. Well, the first Pokemon pack opening of the month in in May, and finally, it's time for the battle once again—a triple threat match. We are doing. The three tins that recently came out, as you guys know, this has been pre-recorded, so this probably be like a tin late. But these were the 2020 tins, the last tins that came out for 2020. The Pikachu tin, the Eevee tin, and the Eternus tin. The pretty much the Legend of Legends in, in Sword and Shield. But remember people, please check out Card Empire, that place to be a match at Stockport and Liverpool. And like I said, people... Battles of Tins. I do this because I like them, because they're quite fun. But also, you guys may be thinking, right, so probably that tin is better value. It may have better pulls. So, you may be thinking, if you're new to my channel, this is how it goes in these battles. A promo card, like the Pikachu, they guarantee one point because you always will get it. So there's no matter on what else you'll get, that just guarantees as a point. Whether it's a secret rare rainbow card, or a full art, if it's a promo, it counts as one. A standard holo rare card counts as one, but a reverse foil rare doesn't count. They worth nothing. If it's a V card, a GX or an EX standard, it's worth two points. A full art is worth three points. And then yourself, you've got yourself your rainbow rares, your gold cards, they're worth four. But if you get the most expensive card in the set, it's worth a mega five. So. Let's hope we can get something good. Now, meaning by Megan Books, I'm talking about £100 or American dollars to make it worth five points. But right here, you get a beautiful Pikachu right here, which I do love. They always do have it carry a bit of value, the Pikachus. So let's go ahead and just sleeve this up really quick. Let's take a look at the back. A tiny bit of a scuff down the bottom, but it definitely could be a nine if I'm lucky. We have ourselves your promo code, here you go, and it's gone. So we have ourselves Darkness of Blade, which is beautiful, I'm very happy with these. Which hopefully I can get myself a VMAX Full Art Charizard, a normal X and Y, and a base set Sun and Moon. Okay, okay, I'll take that, a base set Sun and Moon. Not have a lot of great valuable cards in it, but still. A base set is a base set, it's what you guys would like to have as a retro card, a retro pack, which is what it is. It, they many class as a um, recent set, set before a, a, um, a legacy pack, you may call it. So right there, that's one point right there with the Pikachu. We'll always say out with the old, in with the new, but also I'm definitely going with the new last because it's going to be a guarantee, hopefully, a Charizard, if we hopefully can pull one. Well, let's stop jibber jabbering, cue the music, let's hope we can pull something great out of these packs. So here's your code, and it's gone. Remember, this is a this is a sun and moon pack, so hopefully we get something great. We have a little psychic energy. We got turn beat, energy switch, Toracat, Spearow, Dratini, Cutie Fly, Ching Chow, a Morlu. A first ball to Pida. Oh, you ain't got to be kidding already. Let's go. What a start. We get a normal Espeon GX. Very nice indeed. I'll take that. Let's have a look at the price right there. I'll take that any day. So that's two points right there. So that's three points altogether. That's awesome start. All right. Sword and Shield base set. Let's see what we can pull out of this. And then yeah, right from the start, yeah, my favourite Pokemon in this in the series, Score Bunny, to start it all off. And you guys already know that this is going to be my tattoo in the near future. We have Pikachu, we have Sinity, we got Wooloo, Shelda, a reverse well knocked out. Oh, did I not do the? Oh, whoops, my mistake. I didn't even do the card trick. My mistake. Salazzle, a uh, Dog Trio. Pokey Center Lady. Then we have a reverse for a rare knockout. It doesn't count. Oh! Oh, baby! Woo! Oh, let's go! We get a full out VMAX Monpeco! <laughs> and a fire energy. Oh, let's go! Oh, baby! Oh, that is amazing! Oh, 
Oh, baby, a full art Mopeko V Max. Are you kidding? That's worth three, uh, three points. Oh my goodness! Oh, let's go! Oh, that's amazing! Obviously, the price is right there. That is sick. Oh, and that's another one of my favorite Pokemons in Sword and Shield as well. I love it. Wow, that's three points. What's that? That's it's on six points already. Pikachu is actually knocking it off the park. That's two for two. And also we had that reverse for a rare uh, knock We'll sleeve that up and put it to the side. Right, darn us ablaze. I don't think we're gonna pull anything out of these. I don't think now, because we just pulled two amazing pack packs right back to back. Hopefully we can get something here. One, two, three, four. There we go. Card trick. We've got Melanie G. Sinicea. Leron. Old PC. Ducklet. A Calablast. Um, Darumaka. Lavatar. Nickit. Another reverse for Nickit. And a Tapu Coco Hollow. Are you kidding? This is nuts. So that's another that's another point. So it's or it's on. Seven points already! My goodness, and it's th it's a hat trick. We pulled a hat trick already. Let's go! I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, what a start of Pokemon pack, and we get an amazing start for the sit for the um, the Pokemon battle. My goodness, Eevee and the legendary is definitely gonna have a bit of hard time to pull something great. Six, seven points. That's nuts. Only to leave energy. Yellhorn, Ursaring. Poltergeist, um, Golet, um, Sk um, Skitty, Dino, Jigglypuff, Dunsparce, and a Reverse for Skarmory, and a Darmanitan Christmas version. <laughs> My goodness, what a. I can't believe it! What a start of the battle of the triple threat of the tins! This is awesome! So before we say goodbye, anyhow, let's have a look who we pulled. For Reverse Worlds, we've got ourselves a Skarmory, a Nickit, and a Dupida. For Reverse Foil Rare, we've got ourselves a Noctowl. But for Holo Rares of the day, for the points, this is the points, let's count the way. We have one point, Tapu Coco. Another point, that's two, Pikachu V. Three points, Mopeko, that's five. And an Espeon GX, that's worth two points. That's worth seven points altogether. Seven points, what a start, people. What a freaking star. Wow! What a, I can't believe it! What a start for Pokemon! Woo! Anyhow, people, if you guys enjoyed it, I surely did. Make sure you check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport, and Liverpool. And place your bets. Who do you think is going to win now? Is it going to be Pikachu? Or was it the one that you're actually going to pick? The Eevee or the Legendary from X and Y? Place your bets now, because uh, see you in a few days, because we're opening up the next tin. Let's hope we can get better pulls. The people have to see you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Let's go! More Peko V Max Volar and an Espeon. Let's go! Woo! I like getting these. These are nice. I do have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! Oh! oh my god! We got him! We got him! Oh! 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 Oh my god! Ah!